going on everybody? I'm Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Josh Douglas, hanging out here in northern Minnesota doing a little smallmouth fishing, and I got a tackle tip for you. Uh, we're starting to get into the dog days of summer, so pretty soon we'll be all about the fall bite. When you're talking about up north, fish, these smallies really put on their feed bag. You know, everything's going to be ice caps. It's going to be a long, hard, harsh winter on them, and uh, they're putting on their feed bag. And so my little tip revolves around the Ned Rig. I'm pretty sure most people with a pulse to bass fishing know that a Ned Rig is a, is a fish catcher, no matter spotted, largemouth, or smallmouth bass. This is kind of your traditional Ned Rig, um, as you know it. You know, a little, this kind of uh, plastic right here, buoyant. And the one key about a Ned Rig is this, is that when it falls, every other bait falls like this and then falls on its side. Okay, when a net rig falls, it falls like this and floats up, springs back in the fish's face like a defensive posture or maybe a little feeding minnow. That's always the key to it. Well, as the fall comes, you know, we're still using these baits, but we're going much bigger. Doing stuff like this right here. The forage is bigger, heavier heads, quarter ounce, 316, you know, throwing something bigger they're looking for that bigger meal on power fish in this thing I'm not you know looking for bites I'm looking for five pounders same deal you got going here with this 10,000 fish Shikoshi bug you know it's got that crawdad uh, style bait so when it falls like this it's gonna spring back up like it's defending itself and a small mouth or his buddy is gonna run right over and grab it places to throw this you know like this one right here we're dealing with Lake Mille Lacs. we have rusty crawdads they're very orange so this coffee craw, craw color is, is pretty perfect I'm throwing this around all your traditional stuff honestly places that I would generally throw a tube I still throw a tube a tube is like a fum fumbled football you know it's kind of erratic you can make a fish bite it but at the same time sometimes when like it's real cold outside like we get in the fall the Ned Rig's just gonna outperform it and again I'm looking for boulders I'm looking for cracks in the rocks little rock piles humps you know the edges where the edges that those fish want to move up and down and around and of course on the edge of little grass spots or little little sandy spots amongst grass like what we were just dealing with over at Lake St. Clair those are the types of areas that I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the Ned Rig and uh, again very versatile bait and usually with this nice sharp hook you're gonna stick them in the top jaw the key to this right here is just the head that you choose this is the outcast tackle perfect net head I designed these heads for one thing in particular to allow a bait to flip up it's always rounded no matter what we made them rounded so that they're not a puck so it doesn't have to round up over a corner to get up and lay flat I need it to come up every single time so uh, with the fall bite right around the corner make sure you guys stack up on your Ned rigs when you're fishing for big smallmouth and remember sometimes you just got to beef it up and go big or go home tight lines